Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. So, in this video, I am explaining LSIP statement. So, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to share the video with your friends. And please don't forget to like the video. So, let me begin the explanation of LSIP statement. So, before understanding what is the LSIP statement, we need to understand uh, if statement and a L statement. Then only we can understand else if statement. So if statement, according to this example, you can see here, if only if the condition is true, it will execute. If the condition is fa false, it will go to else part and it will execute. For example, if name is equal to Alice, it will print I Alice. So in if we have a condition, that the condition is name is equal to Alice. If the name is true, it will print. It will execute the code that is print I Alice. But suppose if name is not equal to Alice, it will go to else part, it will move to else part and it will print hello stranger. So you can observe one thing here, if the condition is true, it will execute one, uh, first part. If the condition is false, it will execute second part. That means maximum two conditions will be executed here or maximum two statements will be executed here in if else. Not more than two statements, either if condition is true, if part will be executed, if condition is false, else part will be executed. But I want multiple statements to get executed. I want multiple conditions to get executed. Then I should prefer else if statement. Okay. So you can see here, while only one of if or else class will execute, we may have a case where we want one of many possible classes to execute. I told you, right? So if maximum we can execute two statements, if and else. But if you want multiple conditions or multiple statements to get executed, we should use else if class but one more important thing you should know is else if statement always follows an if for another else if statement you can observe here if name is equal to alice print i alice else if is less than 12 print you are not an alice so what i'm trying to say is else if always appears after if statement else if always appears after if statement or else else if always appears after another else if statement see this example if name is equal to alice print i alice if else if age less than 12 print you are alice you are not alice kiddo next else if age greater than 2000 print unlike you alice not a va immortal vampire so what i'm trying to say is you can see else if is appeared after if again one more else if statement appeared after else if statement so what i'm trying to say is else if will appear after if statement or else if will appear after another else if statement so just you can see else if will appear after another else if or else if will appear after if statement so else if follows an if or another else if statement hope you are understanding suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section and next it provides another condition that is checked only if all of the previous conditions are false so else if right always checks the condition only when all all the previous conditions were false for example assume that in this example else if great age greater than 100 so else if statement only checks this condition that is else if age greater than 100 right only when the conditions previous only the previous conditions were false for example if name is equal to alice is false it will come to else if age less than 12 again assume that else if age less than 12 is also false it will come to else if age greater than 2000 again assume that else if age greater than 2000 is also false then only it will go to else if age greater than 100 so what i'm trying to say is right so else if is going to be checked only if all the previous conditions were false so else if great age or great age greater than 100 when it will execute only when all the other previous cases are false hope you are understanding guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section okay next what is the syntax of a else if statement in code so as a if statement or a else statement else if statement is also contains a keyword the else if keyword see right and also condition what is the for example else if keyword is there what is the condition age less than 12 
so this is the syntax else if keyword followed by a condition that is age uh, here in this example that is age less than 12 followed by a colon followed by a colon after this we have a code what is that code indented block of code that is print how you are not alice kiddo getting my point this is syntax else if always have a keyword else if followed by a condition followed by a colon followed by an indented block of code so this is the syntax now flowchart so we have a two flowcharts here uh, for uh, two separate uh, codes so first flowchart is for first code second flowchart is for second code uh, we will see to this see very simple so first so it will start if name is alice it will print i alice true if name is not alice false it will check yes name is not alice i will check whether age is less than 12 so if age is less than 12 yes it's if it is true it will print yeah you are not alice kiddo you are not alice kiddo suppose if age name is not also equal to alice if age is also not less than 12 then it will end getting my point either none of the conditions or none of the statement will execute or if it's true then any one of the statement will execute but if it's false none of the statement will get executed here see so if name is not equal to alice and if age is not less than 12 nothing will happen it will just come out nothing will get executed only if it's true then only the statements will get executed at least if it's true at least at least one statement will get executed if all the conditions are false nothing will get executed in the, in the second case also see it will start it will check name is equal to alice if it's true it print i alice if it's false it will go to age less than 12 whether it's age less than 12 is there true it will print you are not alice kiddo again if age is also not less than 12 it will check whether age is greater than 2000 again if, if it's true it will print you are a vampire See if again age is not greater than age is also not greater than 2000 means again it is false it will come to one more statement age is greater than 100 it will print if it is true it will print you are not alice granny if age is greater than 100 is also false it will come out so what i am trying to say is see first condition false it will go to second condition false it will go to third condition false it will go to fourth condition false every condition is false it won't do anything just come out of the loop uh, sorry just come out right if any one of the condition is true then only it will execute suppose if name is called alice is true it will print i alice suppose if age less than 12 is true right okay it will print you are not alice kiddo so if it's true only then only at least one statement at least one statement will execute if it is false if every statement is false nothing will happen okay suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section okay now one more important thing in the else if statement is order of the else if statement is very very important when the order changes your output can also get changed right order of the else if statement is very very important for example take this code why i tell you why order is important so assume that our age variable contains the value 3000 how much the age variable uh, contains the value 3000 so so directly i'll move to this else if age greater than 100 yes yes condition is true why its condition is true my variable value is of age is 3000 3000 greater than 100 yes it will print you are not alice granny so which statement will execute here here third statement else if age greater than 100 will execute right hope you are getting now you can ask a question sir else if age greater than 2000 again it's true yes 3000 is greater than 2000 you may ask sir print unlike you alice not an immortal empire should be printed no 
it won't print the last else if statement it will print the statement bef uh, before that that is else if age greater than 100 why why means 3000 greater than 100 it is true that's why it will execute the third statement not the last statement so that's why however the because age greater than condition is true right you are not Alice granny is printed and the rest of the else if statement are automatically skipped right that's why order is very very important order is very very important suppose instead of age greater than 100 if else if age 2000 was there so which one was executed uh, which one which one was to exe uh, which one you expect to get executed unlike you alice not a immortal vampire you may expect that to get executed why if i exchange these places you may expect yeah because age greater than 2000 yes 3000 greater than 2000 it will get executed so what what you have to do change the position from last position to this position that is age greater than 100 so that's why order matters the statement of else if statement order matters okay hope you are understanding guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section okay and remember at most only one of the classes will get executed and for else if statement the order matters at most only one of the classes will execute it not all the classes will get executed see at least one will execute or none will execute if everything is false none will execute or else maximum all the if the all the previous condition is false only one condition true means maximum only one condition will get executed that's why order matters understood right so if you change the if you interchange the statements put the else if age greater than 2000 as a third statement right else if uh, and uh, move the else if age greater than 100 to last statement right the output changes instead of you are not alice granny you are going to print unlike you alice is not immortal vampire hope you are understanding right so the order matters output will change if the order is changed hope you are understanding next now you want else if statement to at least execute something why why i'm telling this if every condition is false in else if statement nothing will happen no statement will get executed but you want at least one of the statement at least one output so to that what you can do means you can include else statement in else if statement you can include else part also optionally we can have an else statement after the last else if statement so see this example so after the else if statement i included a else part why if the else if is false instead of going out without doing anything else will get executed see if the conditions in every if and else if statements are false then the else class will execute it for example if name is the is equal to alice is also false else if age less than two is also false if both the statements are false also it will execute the else part you are neither alice nor it took it so i need at least one of the statement to get executed then we have to use else part if you don't use else part in else if statement none of the statement will get executed okay hope you are understanding the concept guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section okay so these are the flow charts I don't want to waste uh, time so this is the flow chart for uh, uh, this this uh, example and the second flow chart is for this example uh, just I'll give a brief idea so it will start it will check name is equal to Alice if it's true it will print I Alice so it, again if it is uh, false then it will go to see it will start if name is equal to Alice it will print true print I Alice it will just end only one statement will get executed it will end it will come out suppose assume that name is not equal to Alice false it will go to next statement age is less than 12 false age is greater than 100 false age is greater than 2000 false 
so nothing will happen so why but in this example see a is greater than 2000 will not execute why what is the variable value of a here in this example 3000 3000 greater than 100 yes it's true it will execute print you are not alice granny this statement will execute right and it will come out this a is greater than 2000 that fourth statement won't execute itself order matters you may ask a question 3000 is greater than 2000 sir it should execute no 3000 is greater than 100 also that's why this statement will execute this statement will not execute so in the second flow chart start name is equal to alice true the here assume that name is equal name is equal to alice is also false age less than is also false what happens the else part will execute what is that else part else part print you are neither an alice nor a little kid you know that right sorry uh, yeah yeah so else part will execute so this is the flow chart for that okay guys so that's it guys hope you are understanding the concept suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video